Hi, it's Travis White with the Persuasive Communication Tip of the Week. Here's a good question to ask a married couple. Ask each member of the couple, what percentage of the household chores do you do? What percentage of the household chores do you contribute in the family? Ask it of one member, write the number down. Ask it of the other member separately, write the number down. Add the two numbers together, almost certainly it'll be greater than 100%. Now why is that? Are they lying? Well, no, it's the way our memory works. And it's much easier for me, for instance, to remember all of those things I've done around the house, washing the dishes, cleaning the floors, all kinds of things. It's much easier for me to remember what I've done and how much time I spent on those chores than it is for me to remember what my wife has done. So. What I've done gets magnified in my memory. What she's done gets minimized in my memory. I think I'm contributing more than she's contributing. Now, why is this important in innovation and change? Well, it happens in work as well. We all know that we put together teams and those teams work on projects and those projects are successful and we celebrate our successes, but oftentimes the member of the teams have um, memories about how much they contributed and again because of the way our memory works their memory inflates their contribution and they want more credit than perhaps you have given them so sometimes this can create friction I think I've contributed 40 percent of the value of the project but as I hear you talking about it my manager talking about giving credit for the success that we've just had I may think well he's only giving me 20 percent of the credit where well, I really deserve 40 percent of the credit so two tips here. One, remember that our memory works in funny ways and we tend to inflate what we have done and tend to minimize what other people have done and be sure to give out ample credit. You can never praise too much. Continue to praise all members of the team and again because their memory works in odd ways they'll remember what you say about them, your praise, more than they'll remember about what you say about other members of the team. So it tends to even out over time. However, there can be frictions between team members in the sense of how much did I contribute and how much credit did I get for it? How much praise did I get for it? How much work did I do? If that continues to be a problem, here's another tip. Just call them together in a staff meeting, say we've completed this project, it was very successful, we're very pleased with the results. I'd like to know from your perspective how much you think, each of you think you contributed to the success of the project. So just take out a piece of paper and write down the percentage of the value you contributed to the success of the project. Don't put your name on it, pass all the papers in, add up the, the numbers, and almost certainly it'll be greater than 100%. Most likely it'll be greater than 200 or even 300%. And then you can talk to the team about the way memory works and about the way we remember more easily what we've done and we remember more difficultly what other people have done. So that's the Persuasive Communication Tip of the Week. See you again next week.